Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, today I'm trying to cover multipass compositing inside of Nuke X, and this is completely the basic stuff. So those who guys are looking for multipass compositing in beginner level, they guys can check this tutorial of mine. Okay, so without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. <laughs> So right now we are in Nuke but we don't have to open Nuke first because we have to know how you guys can render this from 3D and what is the process and all. So let's go to the 3ds Max and this is from 3ds Max render output which I have rendered before. So let's minimize this first and I'll just go through the process because this is a vast process of multipass compositing and I'll make one more tutorial which is in-depth tutorial for multipass and over there I'll show how you guys can do lot more things by using multipass compositing. And guys make sure I want to tell you that uh, why you are doing multipass compositing there are a few reasons okay now if you want to create something in a specific options like if you want to uh, glow some areas if you want to get some color correction for some parts like lighting or reflection then the multipass compositing will pop up because over uh, by using multipass compositing you guys can do that thing only you want on that specific area okay so this is my 3d setup and this is my lighting setup in v-ray and this model is downloaded and link is in description you guys can go and download it from there but i will also uh, provide that link where i added this pass renders so just go and download that and try work on your system okay so make sure when you go to the setup option uh, in from here just open it yes in render elements you have to select these many render passes even you guys can use so many other render passes but one more thing when you go add i'm just show you there are few other render passes which is called v-ray raw global illumination v-ray raw lightning so these are the, the different or these are really advanced way of multipass compositing so i will uh, make one more tutorial based on this that's why i'm talking about uh, previously that uh, i will create one more uh, on this same topic but that will that will be the advanced one okay so let's close this and when everything you set this up and over there in video setup you just have to select this video raw image file from frame buffer option and over there you just have to uh, select this open exr format so then the output will come on the separate separate image uh, in a single image but it will come on separate parts inside of new okay but you guys can do one more thing you guys can save separate separate passes that is also fair enough but i suggest make one render and it will uh, be working on nuke properly okay so the mysterious max part is right now done so let's minimize this and let's open nuke so this is in nuke but as you guys can see this image is a little more uh, like brighter the reason is there's a color space is there so I'm just taking it like one and over there if you select like color space like linear or sRGB then it will come like this. So I suggest if you select linear or sRGB it's good so make sRGB is good. Uh, and then what do you have to do? Now our basic stuff is we have to match this uh, beauty pass with our uh, pass renders when every uh, when every passes will merge it up then output will come and that output and this output should be same. Okay. So what you have to do select uh, by using shuffle node we are doing some multipass compositing okay so press tab and we are using shuffle like this now before doing shuffle I want to tell you that how it will look like okay so press tab and take a layer constant sheet now connect this layer constant sheet when you connect this you guys can see there are so many passes are visible so let's turn off the show layer names now it's uh, visible here resolution is very high now see there is no depth is there no background is there and no self illumination is there because but yes there are some self illumination see only this much area is self illuminate so there is actually but no depth pass and uh, no background so i'm just leave it like that but we have our rgb which is a beauty pass and second one is our diffuse and then the global illumination then lightning video reflection refraction and shadows and all so we have to merge all together and we can create some more interesting things by using this passes okay so let's get started so just leave that and connect it to here and now double click on the shuffle node and now guys make sure the arrangement the layer arrangement like when uh, like uh, after which you should uh, put what like after first global illumination or first lighting or first specular or second is reflection so that is the main concern that layering process and in 
new that the arranging process so i'm just open a website over there you guys can check i am just uh, paste this link on my description you guys can go and check and read all this thing. now these uh, website is actually tell that every separate separate render process at separate separate different method like i'm using vray so in vray first of all you have to use gi then lighting then specular then reflection after that reflection self illumination and triple s then beauty pass in mentally it's diffuse indirect specular reflection so in you guys can see in render man there are separate separate option and all together merge there then it will come a beauty pass beauty pass is our final pass which we which we are using for final output and you guys can check this side it's a uh, this side link is in description okay so first of all we have to create some gi lighting specular so this is our basic steps so just connect to this uh, shuffle node and double click but guys now what we want to see that we have no backgrounds right so just from here select and i'm taking like global illumination like this then connect it like one when you connect it this is only global illumination is right now visible in front of you there are no specular no reflection nothing so guys we have to add separate separately all those passes now i'm just rename it like gi so that you guys can uh, understand from outside that what is exactly it is so this is gi it means global illumination so after that we are taking which one we are taking the lighting one let's check like gi then lighting then specular it's very easy so then we are taking the lighting one they press tab and take a shuffle node again and just simply connect it like this and double click and from here you guys can choose this lighting option so i'm just rename it like lighting it's fine and when you connect it like this these are only lighting paths there is no global illumination but now we have to connect this global illumination and lighting all together so press m for merge and then b pipe should connect to this gi and the a pipe should go to this one so this is now connected right and for arranging purpose i am making a little bit down i'll show you why because it will arrange very nicely then connect it to here now we have our lighting pass and gi pass together just disable it then you guys can understand okay now double click from over i am taking it like a plus so this is right now done the same method we have to continue for each and every time now press tab and shuffle node again now take it like this and connect it and after that we have to select our specular passes so where is specular this is our specular pass connected now this is our specular one and then rename it like a specular and just connect by pressing m b pipe will go to here and a pipe will go to here now same method we have to create it like this so i am just making it only like this so it will create a good compositing style but you guys can make it as like this press l so it will come a one row and so actually this is the proper way you guys can but it's up to you how you guys can arrange it but i suggest or every time when you are doing this kind of uh, multi pass you have to arrange your all passes separate separately and in a good way so now we have our specular passes and from over i'm taking it like a plus so right now as you guys can see there are some speculars over there okay so let's uh, go to the third one which is our reflection and refraction so press tab again and take shuffle node and connect it like this and rename it like reflection and uh, just take from here reflection node and then press m press b and a now it's double click from here to plus and press 1 so now we have our own reflection passes right then we have to take by pressing tab again for a refraction one so like like this and rename it like refraction press enter and from here you guys can select like refraction and press m and same method b pipe should go here and a pipe will go there and then just press 1 so now we have our see this is our previous one and this is our not right now so do we have our refraction over here and after that i have a few many passes let's see how, how many passes i have refraction ref like yeah, self illumination is there for only this much area because this area is like a bulb or something so it will popped up here so let's take one more shuffle and connect it to like this and rename it like self illumination okay and then from here taking like self illumination press m b pipe and a pipe it's very easy actually but you have to know about that how and where you should 
and why obviously you are pasting this all then just press one now we you guys can see our passes right now is not visible and right now it's visible okay so it's almost done but right now as you guys can see this is very bright this is our previous one and this is our current one so why this happened this is only happened for from here so i'm just uh, changing it from srgb to none so right now as you guys can see the viewer is right now properly same to same so when you go to the b now see this is our default one from here color space i'm taking it like a linear and then one and take two now those are different but there is slightly yes only this much area is changing but rest of the part is actually same so we achieved our target our uh, the default one and our passes when merge it will completely look like same now you can start your own creativity how i'll tell you so this is our only step which you have to follow so this is not a master science uh, sorry rocket science but this is actually you have to do each and every time but you guys can do in separate separate way okay so now this is our gi pass right this is a gi pass this is a lighting pass this is a specular pass so let's see the specular pass connected to this and i'm taking the specular passes and say i'm taking a like you guys can check like grade let's see what happened when you add some grade over there just connect it like this double click it and i'm just going to the green one and when i increase the red one see only the specular is right now affected right so let's create some bluish part or yes some bluish area and the red is little decreased little down so it's really good and uh, let's add some more thing by using some cc like color correction and i'm taking like shadow one i'm just increasing the shadows little bit uh, sorry decreasing the shadow a little bit and the gamma so see the entire shadow is right now but when i increase it so much there's some noise but you guys can denoise it as well so decrease it a little bit and from master i'm increasing the saturations now see it's saturated really well now if you wish you guys can use some more areas like if i wish like only this much area will affect now see i'm taking a grade note connected to this and let's create some what you can say like uh, let's create some sort of red one some greenish okay now i'm taking a roto node and mask it to this and double click and now see i'm just only want this much area will colored like a green so you guys can do this by using this roto node so this is also applicable for this now see now this much area is only uh, affected by this grade node okay now you guys can change any colors like this so fine right so i'm just doing it roughly you guys can make it own precise way so just leave it like this now it's fine okay i'm just leaving it like this okay now let's see the reflection passes and i'm just taking it only here because it's affecting entire comp okay now go to the reflection now see these reflections are only this much areas okay so now go to the last one and i'm taking again a cc or for color correction note and let's see to the highlighted parts and uh, let's create some grains and increasing some colors now see these are the lighting areas which is affected by reflection and when i increase it see only this much area is affected now go to the master one and contrast it a little down so now you can, can see the reflections are right now affected right and let's a little bit down and go to the green one increase little greenish part like this so this is looks really well the blue and green and increase or decrease your red one i think decreasing red one is looking really good increase little blue or something like green no it's fine okay then i'm taking like refraction pass so this is only refraction pass this is, i left this refraction part after that i will use it now go to the lighting option and connect it to this one two three and connect yes now go to the lighting option press uh, cc same color correction and when you increase the gamma see the total lighting is actually increasing now see when i increase the gain see it's affecting and let's create some colors over there now it's, it's actually lighting so wh whatever you are doing it um, it will actually affect completely so you have to use it by your own way so let's create it like this actually it's not looking really good so i'm just make it like default one like this and um, let's go some grade take some grade connect it like this then multiply it a little bit high and from green i'm just increasing the bluish or yes the bluish little actually i love the blue and red one so don't judge me and that that's why i'm every time doing the blue or red actually i love these two colors combination when blue and red color together it will just create some wow things okay 
so, so now it's it's fine okay now if you wish you guys can do so many stuffs like i am taking the reflection one okay now this is a reflection passes and this is a refraction passes this is a self illumination now we are that self illumination it's little bit glow so i'm taking a tab g l o w glow take like this and simply connect it to here now when you see when press one and this one double click and just make some brightness now see i think you guys can see this is actually glowing right and then tolerance and make some saturations up okay so right now self illumination is absolutely done and you guys can use like a uh, specular pass after specular pass or reflection pass let's take a glow like this and let's connect it now see everything is glowing actually it's not good but you guys can use some roto mask as i told you so let's brightness it little bra like down and like tint it it like this now it's good okay so this is the actually the basic way but after that you guys can use your default color correction like this for only this much areas it will affect it press 1 now just increasing or decreasing and then simply like this offset it gain it and saturation you guys can use only the shadow area will affect now uh, you guys can use a little bit saturation down for highlights bars let's gain increasing some gamma gain it's completely up to actually guys the multipass compositing is actually up to you that how you guys can want your output should be look like so it's not mandatory that you should follow my steps like now is i disable this one or connect some grades over there you guys can see that a different output will come up now see this is this uh, let's just connect this and connect it to this and increase some gain like this colored it from red blue yellow and then use some white points black point it's completely up to you again i'm telling so i think you you should you can understand that uh, how you guys can manage your uh, it's actually basic multipass compositing but yes i think you guys can understand what is exactly multipass and this is a requested tutorial there are so many guys who requested me for making a sir please make a uh, multipass compositing tutorial so this is it and i hope in future i will create more tutorials based on many other topics so if you really uh, love this tutorial then don't forget to hit the like button share button and please do subscribe vfx world and i have one more channel which is called lifestyle vlogs and today i uploaded one blog over there link is in description just go and check out that vlog i think it will a really good vlog okay then i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and bye bye